Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, man? It's your boy So Lisa. It's your boy Ken Star. You yeah, and tune in to Brilliant, Brilliant View. View. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now say it's lay that shit on the song. I want people to know my struggle. Uh, straight from the bottom, I started. I started. I knew the top's what I wanted. wanted. I took my shot without warning and no looking back in the What's going on, people? It's your boy, Red B Man Jones, back again for another episode of Brilliant Views. I'm here with my boy Soul Eastside and Kendrick Star, man. We are in the 1113 studios, man. They make a lot of magic here, man. A lot of magic goes on here, man. Listen, I want to talk about that. That mixtape, that I, I feel this album, man, because how, how, how good it is, how motivational it is, man. Soul season, man. Where, where did that come from? Where did the motivation for that come from, man? Uh, a lot of, um, a lot of struggle, a lot of uh, pain and progression, um, and my son. I got you. I got a lot, a lot of motivation from him. Um, he's actually like my hype man. Ghost Rider, all that, man. That's that's my guy, man. For real, yeah. yeah so. how, how, how old is your son? He's five. He'll be six in September, man. I can't you. wait, man. I got you, man. That's, he's a big part of uh, what makes so east side so east side, you know? So. so, outside of just your son, man, what else makes so east side so east side? I mean, I know you you originally from up top, right? Right. And then you moved down here and you've been here for a while. You went to high school here. You went to high school with me. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, like, man, what, like, what, what's the motivation, man? What made you want to become an artist, man? Um, well, what made me want to rap was uh, I was always around like rap. You know what I mean? Um, well, more so like my teenage years, I got around rap. Like growing up, my mom played a lot of like R&B. I knew I always wanted to be an artist. Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to be. I wanted to do R&B. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wanted to be a singer. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell man, us that. Man, you know, I ain't know that one. Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't tall enough for that. I, I, I had the Kevin Hart syndrome, so you know, I had to uh, get into something else. But uh, what made me want to rap was uh, my dad. Really, um, my dad was into it, but he never really got the opportunity to go, you know, full fledged. But he had some legal issues, so okay. you know, I just. Uh, Wanted to step in and fill his shoes. I got you. Now, now, how did the, how did this connection here, man? The, these two greats here. How did man, y'all we go back like that? Yeah, all the way yeah, back. I mean, that's childhood, right? Childhood, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like you talking about childhood, like, childhood, 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 real life, childhood. Peanut yeah, butter jelly <laughs> on the bus, being on the back of yeah, the back yeah. of the bus, it's like no, my mama was yeah. like, you know what I mean, like we're rich out. He probably at Ken House. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. See one, you see the other. Yeah, yeah. I got BBA, you. Yeah, man. Me, Ken, and KD, man. Yeah. Okay, okay, man. So Ken, man, when 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 Soul came to you and said, man, listen, bro, I want to do this music thing. What what made you be like, all right, man, let's go, let's do it. Man, that's <laughs> that's really the reason why I came back, man, because I was in Atlanta for two years. I went to school for engineering, so I mean, I've been new. Uh, so Eastside had spit from a long time ago, you know what I mean? So I just seen a transformation and a growth in the music. You know, the topic changes, how everything changed from when we was young, how we was rapping and doing things back then. And, you know, I knew he can rap, but he came back and we started working on projects and started working back together. It blew my mind how much he evolved since the time I had been gone. So, man, yeah, man, shoot, boy. When he told me change, so my boy didn't have about five names. <laughs> but you know, everybody goes to their stage, though, man, when they change their name. But when he told me, like, you know, hey, man, I'm sticking with Soul Eastside, okay. that Soul part stuck out to me because, you know, in his tracks, is what you're going to hear. Straight Straight soul. Bottom. Yes. Soul. Yes, yes, Soul Feeling. and Motivation, man. It's like yeah. real. All those tracks on Soul, you know, on Soul Season, excuse me. Like now, so I feel when you came from with the Soul part, where does the East Side part come from? Oh man, well, uh, at first I was just kind of embodying the side of the city that I grew up on. You got you. Then it turned into more so like a uh, just this, this this side of the, the global, I guess. You know what I mean? Because I mean, being from 
originally from up top and then growing up here, I've always been on like the East Coast or, or the East Side and I have, uh, that's always been like, uh, I guess the style of music I grew up listening to. Mm-hmm. And I listen to like, like my beat and Nas and, you know, Big Pun and like just that, that type of East, East Coast East type Coast. of vibe, you know what I mean? So I just really was like, all right, well, I'm going to invite you that mm-hmm. and it's just, you know, so I stuck with now, now, in the... Now you, your music, man. You're, you're not a normal rapper, man. You're actually, you know, you're a lyricist, bro. <laughs> you, you talk about something. You motivate people through your music, man. Now, what made during this era where mumble rap is it's, it's hot right now? Yeah. What made you just be like, man, bump that, man? I'm going the real way. I'm going with the way hip hop was meant to go. What made you want to do that, man? What made you go that way? Just honesty with myself. You know, like, uh, my grandma always taught me. Be real with myself, mm-hmm. you know. So to me, I mean, like I said, that's what I grew up listening to. So that's all I know. I mean, I listen to the mumble rap and all that, but I didn't want to. Um, I just wanted to kind of hold on to my roots. Well, you didn't want to be a gimmick rapper. Yeah, right? you know, it's yeah. just like I didn't want to be that guy because a lot of those guys, like, I mean, some of them that's really like they trend, like, like, like Migos. I, I don't want to say they, they mumble rap like. I, I rock with Migos, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But that's really like, that's, that's the Migos. They, that's they, they swag, you know, yeah, 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 that's what yeah. they do right. since they started. Mm-hmm. So, you know, like, when, when it's authentic, I can respect it, but a lot of those guys just kind of, you know, they bandwagon it. You mm-hmm. can tell that's not really, they swag and then they'll yeah. turn around and drop a whole different type of swag on, on their next project, and then it don't go as far, because people be like, the hell is this? I got you. You know I mean? So, I was like, nah, I'm gonna be real with myself, mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, you know, it's times when you don't want to hear that. Even even for the kids that's listening to it now, mm-hmm. it's times they're like, I don't want to hear it. Man, put on some soul. Put some soul. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to be that guy, I guess. I got you. Now, I'm going to ask you this, man. Now, now, the other day, man, I appreciate it too, man. I was invited to the video. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And it was straight love, man. It was good vibes, man. It just felt like it was just you and your people vibing out to your music and, 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 and supporting and backing you and what you're doing, man. Well, so, well, man. Boy, when, when it comes to your music, do you get their opinions before you release some, or do you, do you and K just, like, man, forget what everybody else said, me and you, bro, me and my engineer, it's us, we, we y'all gonna rock with it because it's us, or do you, like, let them talk? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's kind of how it really is, because, yeah. you know, that's what it says, staying true to yourself and knowing yourself, mm-hmm. we know the direction we always want to go in. I got you. You know what I mean? So, hell. We get in here, we might have a few adjustments, but you know, one thing about soul, when he come, he come correct now. Right, he come right. in, he ready to go. Okay. You know, we come in the studio, might talk talk for like five or ten minutes and we straight to it. Straight to the work. And you know, that's what the biggest thing I like about recording. Mm-hmm. You know, aside from him he, him going back, it's the point that he's always prepared. Always ready. And that's one of the biggest things I can tell any artist. That's doing something, any person for life, man. Mm-hmm. Stay prepared, man. Always. Stay on top of your game with stuff, man. Always. Now let me ask y'all this. I know you said it in your raps, man. You know you. In, I'm independent. I'm independent. Now, do you do you want to stay independent? You know what I'm saying? Or would you like to be signed to me? I'm gonna go with just me. I can't. <laughs> but, uh, I would prefer to stay independent. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, stand on my own ten because you know. I, I've seen the success, like, the game has changed so much mm-hmm. since the birth of hip-hop. Mm-hmm. And not even just hip-hop, I mean, just, I'm going to exclude hip-hop, but uh, business, yeah, like, yeah. business is so different now, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, we watch people become uh, successful business owners and CEOs off of YouTube, right? you know what I mean? So it's, as long as, you know, you, you, you stay in... I guess the, the guidelines and you know what it is that you're pursuing you know, and that you're passionate about and you believe in that, then anybody can stand on their own team. Now as far as uh, working with Wavy, you know, I, I would be I would be ignorant to, you know, say, nah, I wouldn't want to like never partner up or you know, like kinda like how um we the best partnered up with uh, with, with, with uh, your money. Yeah, you know what I mean. Did yeah. that, you know, like yeah, I, I, yeah you know, I would collab, yeah. you know, that exposure, I would, you know, and all that, and just to be around those people and, and learn from, you know, whatever they, whatever jewels they can drop on you. Mm-hmm. But as far as you know, signing to somebody, I couldn't see myself doing that unless it was like a uh, like an at home, like there was a label 
from here that knew what we were about. Mm -hmm. I'm like, because yeah. because Greenville, man, on its own, man, we actually have our own type of swag, our own culture. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. And that's what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, a lot of fellas realize, man. Yeah, they, man, they sleeping on the hill. Yeah, they finna wake up. They wake up. Yeah, they wake up. Yeah. Yeah. Wake up. Come up man. I mean, you know, what the fact people don't know is that you know Greenville County is the biggest county in South Carolina. Really? Yeah. So I mean. I look at that and I put it in perspective to why it's like, man, you know, we really came together and everybody teamed up mm -hmm. and make it a big movement. And not only just Greenville County, because, you know, hey, shout out to Lee County and the boys down the way. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Watson's girl, shout out to y'all boys down there. Shout out to everybody. Edison, you know, I see everybody, man. So, you know, once you got everything, y'all, from the top to the bottom, man. You know what I mean? So, the most part, man, I just say it's South Carolina as a, as a whole have its own sound. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest thing. You know, I have I don't have a a vendetta or a vengeance against any other place, but I feel like you can coming out of South Carolina, we gotta create our sound. Okay. We gotta create our wave because North Carolina, you know, they got, they, they got that way. You know, you just started back when you had Petey Pablo. Right. Go on and raise up, yeah. take your shirt off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Till you got the new school boys, J. Cole, he put on for They me. got elevated yeah. too. Did you know? Yeah. So it's yeah. so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I still, I'm like, yeah, he might say the Carolinas, but I'm ready for that person out of South Carolina to okay. really put on for the for South. South. Carolina. Part of the Carolina, man. I got you, bro. So that's one of the biggest things I strive for. All right, hey, now, now, K, man, you, now, I know you work with Soul Eastside, you know what I'm saying? But right. do you work with other artists as well? Man, I have worked with a boatload of artists, man. I've been blessed to work with a boatload. What am I saying? The wall, tell it all. The wall, tell it all. Hey, the wall, tell it all. So man. what is it, man? You, you come in, you record, then you kiss out of all. Yeah, you man. Hey. Hey. Cause I, I had took it from, I got it back from the basement. I got you. Took it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, uh, you know, what I mean, I used to think that used to be the most creative thing, and seeing people get the artists come in, they sign the wall, they freestyle. You know, you know, we used to watch it. We used to watch it every Friday. We used to be in there right in front of the TV. So I feel like it give people a sense of feeling like they welcome and want it. You know, at home when they come to the studio, when they get to pick that pen up and sign that wall, man, it just it give them a sense of, dang, you know, because people come in, the artists. I've got to work with They come in and You know Come in with their friends Or whoever And it's like A big accomplishment Accomplishment to them They get to see the wall And point their name Out on the wall I got you So I mean It gives them a sense of, Like I said Feeling at home So my biggest thing When you come to the studio I want you to feel at home I, I want the vibes To be high And everything to go good So it makes it feel good in music Now when did you guys Open up this particular studio I mean I know y'all boys been boys so was, Yeah I've been doing music Everywhere Right But <laughs> this This location Where was it this, is, this establishment opened up last year okay. in August. Downstairs. Yeah, down, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Downstairs. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So yeah. we downstairs and moved up here, man. And hell, a story, a little small story with Rich. I'm pretty sure he didn't want to tell it. <laughs> but another thing that kind of transformed him that we used to record right next door. And the engineer, the particular engineer that we used to work with back in the day, oh, we had big hype about, you know, we was talking about, yo, man, you gotta hear my boy, man. Like, you gotta hear my boy spit. Like, yeah, yeah. you really gotta hear him spit. So, when we brought him up here, and Rick spit, he kinda like, Gave him the cold shoulder. You know what I mean? You know, I'm like, yo, I'm like, what is he not hearing that we hearing? You know what I mean? Like, you know, what is it, bro? Because Rich was the big hype. You know what I mean? He was a big hype. So I know that played a key point of Rich life when yeah, that was that was doing the I'm glad he brought that up, man. That, uh, yeah, that, that's a story that I tell uh, to like, you know, my young homies or brothers, you know, people like that. That's, yeah. Kind of just starting out because when you start out, you know, um, well, I don't know about everybody, but for me, I was like real shy about it at first. Mm -hmm. And you know, my boys kind of, kind of put the battery in my back to build my confidence, and make me come out of my shell. Cause I used to just freestyle at the cold with the homies. That was it. You know, and, you know, and it wasn't until I had got so comfortable doing it with them that I started, you know, doing it at school and stuff like that. You know, I just kind of built my own buzz. So, uh, you know, by this point. I was kind of feeling myself a little, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, yeah. and uh, like like a lot of these guys are now, and that was a very uh, very humbling moment for me. I actually uh, extremely grateful for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because he he challenged me to kind of 
step like break out of my own box. I got you. you know what I mean? Because I was like kind of boxed in, and I think more so what he was saying was it wasn't that I couldn't rap, but it was just like you know, I wasn't really saying anything any different than anybody else. Right. You know right. what I mean? So when he kind of was like, "Yeah, you are right," you know, like it hurt. You know, like what do you mean I'm like, yeah, you know, saying it made everybody in the room look like you know because he was younger then. But I, I went home, and you know, this is how you know. Like when you're really passionate about something, man, because I could have just been like, man, forget it then. You know what I mean? But I went home, like, we went back, you know, and I didn't even bring it up no more. You know, I sat down, I thought about it, and it was from that point forward I started looking for Soul Issa. At that point, I was, it was Joe Blaze. Yeah, Joe Blaze was Joe. I met him, you know, it was all in the area right there, man. It was, it was from then, from yeah. that point, that point forward, I started looking for I. Right, what am I really representing in this? You know what I mean? And I just started writing completely different. I mean, like a week later, I started rapping to him in the kitchen. And he was just like, whoa, you switched the whole flow up. Like, and I, I got to find myself, bro, because I had never had nobody tell me, like, I got you, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I'm yeah. telling you, man, from my perspective, man, you, 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 man, you more than the hype, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> I appreciate it. Listen, man, listen, you saying something about freestyling, man, so can we get a freestyle for people? Yeah, quick, man, man, you know, we can get a quick little freestyle. All right, man, listen, man, y'all, y'all hold on, man, y'all stay tight, man. We're going we gonna to get ready. He's going to kick a freestyle for us, man. We'll be right back. What's going on, man? It's your boy, Brother B-Man Jones, back again for another episode of Brilliant Views, man. I'm here again with Soul Eastside and K, man. This boy is about to kick a freestyle for me, man. K gonna hit the beat. Yeah. And Soul <laughs> gonna got, and he gonna bless out with some that boys real quick. Yeah, girl, you know girl, what I mean? There's no lyrics up on my phone. Yeah. All right. None. Off the top of the scale. Off the top. This is how we actually make this, this music for y'all. I'm gonna put my phone face you got down. It. You gotta do that nowadays, yeah, man. man. You gotta do yeah, that. Yeah, let them know, know, know for real. Let them know it's coming it, from the soul. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, let's hey, go, hey, hey, hey. Right, let's go. Uh. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I throw my tag on. Yeah. 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 Coming from the struggle, these cowards is quick to judge you. Let them know that they can't touch you. The power of God's above you. Running into trouble with bitches claiming they love you like savages when they cut loose and niggas gon' always bug Gymnastics with the paper, I'ma make a triple double. Found strength in numbers, turn the hustle to a muscle. Mm. Progression ain't no stopping us. Give a fuck about who's popular. Bitches screaming like operas, the new pimples is popping up. Boy, I gotta do it big because I'm a popper. We just trying to weather the storm, so call us Doppler. Now all of these labels trying to adopt us Cause they see that we got potential to bring them Oscars Came to an agreement, gotta ask it to receive it Maybe exaggerating now, but just wait till we achieve it Believe it, from the concrete jungle, raised from the cement Elevated spirits, bro, we good long as the weeds live Let's speak it, these vultures got pussies laced with our sneakers Be careful who you lay with, they'll trick you into a fetus Got a sweet tooth, that homie mind who you trick or treat with Cause child supports a bitch and nowadays it's used to break Oh my god, that last line gave really chills, but I'm just telling you was real loud in the foothills. Nocturnal, we ain't got time for sleep dance. Critiquing my craft just to give you something to believe in. I'm in my zone, young Ed Reed. Trying to show the world what they could not see. Type of shit they ain't playing on BT. But either way, dog, we making history. Like yeah. Lil Wo, then hold up. Take a steak out of the oven, this flows is too tough. Got the game sold up. The studio hard bodies, I suggest you tone it down. Evaporate your soul if you hide it in summer cloud. But I'm the front runner, young stunner like I'm Nat Turner. The front runner came a long way from back burners. Ain't no bars to handle us. Can't train them with these animals dirtier than the cameras, but cleaner than the janitors. King of my jungle, let's just call it Lions Bill. They ain't fuck with the star salon, buckled up Ryan's belt. I'm the king of my jungle, let's just call it Lions Bill. They ain't fuck with the star salon, buckled up Ryan's belt, nigga. Oh my goodness. Did you catch that? Yeah, that's Did you uncut. catch that? Raw and uncut footage. Hey, man. South, baby, south. Hey, man, man. This is how it started, man. We started on the couch. Man, man. what? Oh, oh, goodness, bro. That's a real man. Hey, I appreciate y'all, boy. Let me come to the studio, man, for real. Y'all keep working, son. Listen, man, let them know your Twitter tags, your Instagram mm -hmm. tags, your Snapchat tags, all that. Mm -hmm. Give it to them, man. I'm a, uh, I don't have a Twitter right now, but okay. Spanrilla is forcing me to make one. <laughs> so as soon as I have that, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm probably going to go uh, with uh, Carolina Soul on that. Give me like a week or two to tweak that. Um, IG, Carolina Soul, 864, uh, SoundCloud, Soul Eastside. 
damn, uh, what, so he's yeah, on Facebook, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, man, and uh, Soul Season, we, we kind of revising it, we're going to drop it again mm -hmm. August 8th, but okay. for right now, you can go enjoy it, it's on Spin Realty. Um, you can go check it out. Go get I'm that. Yeah. Go yeah. get that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Go get that. <laughs> hey, man. You too, Hey, bro. man, I'm playing it simple from the top to the bottom. 1113 Studios on everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it simple so you can find me. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, you know the motto, get on the bus to get left at the bus stop. That's Ooh, what we go by. Man, so, like so hey, man. So, hey, man, that's how we doing it, man. We coming live and direct. So, hey, if you ain't hear about us before, you hear it now, man. Facts, man. man. So, yeah. You already know why you have me. I said, I'm yeah. better be mad. Yeah. Tell me, yeah. man. That's the man I'm playing right now. You hear what I'm saying, yo? But for real, now listen, y'all make sure y'all go download Soul Season on Spin Rilla. And it's on SoundCloud too, right? Yeah, I got the, uh, it's, it's, it's a playlist, but okay. it's not the whole tape. But it's some tracks in there, yo, for sure. Well, you go get the whole tape yeah, on Spin Rilla. Go get that. You're missing out. You're missing out, man. Don't miss out, man. Don't get left at the bus stop. Please, though. Please, <laughs> though. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all catch me again next time right here, man. A billion views. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 right. I took the real rap, I was sleeping in the trap, waking up with the scales and the grams beat.